This is what started it all. I win, right, buddy? Revenge for the man. <laughs> this year's been a good year for the hives, huh? That's good to hear, because I know that they've been suffering for years now, the bees, right? Look at how cool that is. It is an ecosystem. My father-in-law, my wife's uh, dad, passed away around Memorial Day. This yeah. Year. He always was great with kids, hands-on with them, teaching them, and he always grabbed random pieces of driftwood. Like that piece he thought looked like an alligator. It does. It really <laughs> does. <laughs> And there's Pond Mom. We are meeting in a parking lot. Here comes Pond Mom. Hi, Mom. I brought you the newspaper about the- Of course, you still read the newspaper. Door's not closed, Mom. So, Mama, I told you last night that we should go vlog today, and you were like, yeah, great. <laughs> yes, exactly, I'm excited. This is my mom. We're gonna go have some fun vlogging with Brent today. How you doing? This is the homestead, huh, Brent? This is uh, Pond Mom. You met my Mom before? Brent. Hi, Brent. Firefighter, huh? Yep. We have friends that are firefighters. Okay, Thank yep, you. Uh, Thank 14 you. years of full time. And building ponds full time, so he's got two full time jobs. Let's see the ponds and the water features at home. Right. I can hear it. This is actually the first feature I ever built. Spring sale for you guys. And yeah, then, and got a Mongolian basalt rock out in the front. Came back and then after I did that, I was kind of hooked. Really, so how long ago was that? About six years ago. Okay, so literally you started off as a hobbyist. Yep, hobbyist, and then I helped build a waterfall for a landscaper, just run on an excavator for him. I was already done at that point, though. I already installed that, so. This is what started it all. Yep. So does your wife blame this? No. <laughs> no. So it just sits on a little aqua basin and recirculates. All right, now I know you got something in the backyard. Oh, yeah. We have some e-learning going on in the patio, but... Well, you know what? If you're going to e-learn, you might as well be e-learning back here in nature. How you doing? Don't mean to interrupt your class. Oh, I love it. The Hollingers. <laughs> we put the patio in last year, and then we just had kind of a bunch of surplus of supplies. No plan back here. We just came back here, put the basin in, and then whatever we had, we put in. And, uh, <laughs> made it work, so. and do you ever have customers come over here? Absolutely. Yeah. Well, being a grandma, I like your tribute to your grandpa. My father-in-law, my wife's uh, dad, passed away around Memorial Day. This yeah. Year. And he always was great with his hands-on with them, teaching them. And he always grabbed uh, random pieces of driftwood. Like that piece he thought looked like an alligator, so. It does. It really yeah. does. <laughs> so you incorporate it into the feature. Yep. The spillway bowl with filled with rocks. You got the stack slate sphere. You got the stack slate hole. You got a lot going on here. And then you've got even the stack slate as a base for a planter. Yep. That's left over from an urn where we installed just the top half. And yeah, at the bottom half is now. Two thousand seven. So this is a big change. Oh yeah, and this is literally just we finished in September with this. So. You see the wall over here, it's the blender wall. Oh yeah. That's, so that's actually the next phase. That's going to be our separation. So that'll be slid back on top of a, a basin back there, and then we'll have just the walls, and that'll be the wind barrier for the hot tub. Okay, so you're going to actually move this over here. Yep. And this is your wind barrier. Single row aquaplex. And then you could skinny dip in there, and the neighbors won't see you. Perfect. want to talk smack let's see if you can deliver it start at the white truck that's about uh 50 yards probably 40 that's a 40 yard dash here we go all right you ready you sure you're not gonna pull a muscle like an old person dad money on anybody i would say the jockey check for sure he's tying his shoes he knows i say can your sister beat you in a foot race and he said no way now we're gonna see <laughs> on your marks get set go Oh, little sister gotcha. That is an athlete right there. You got him. Now what about arm wrestling? Nah. <laughs> this was a pond that we built end of last spring. Rebuild, right? Rebuild, yep. There was a previous koi pond that wasn't installed properly. Wasn't installed properly by a former guy that worked at Aquascape that didn't work out at Aquascape and then he built ponds. He's really a landscaper, right? Mow and blow guy, but he built a pond here. What did you inherit when you came in here? We inherited some angry customers that okay. took some time for them to gain confidence in me. Mm -hmm. 
even after explaining what I needed to do to make the thing right, it was just a tremendous amount of rock and it was just eating up the volume of water. And then over the first winter, the ice actually uh, froze solid all the way down to the ground. Because the pond was not deep enough. It was 16 inches deep and not two feet deep. Uh, it, was it was dug to six, but it was with all the rock, it was 12 inches. Oh my gosh. So we came in and there was zero access here. We had to hand dig this whole pond out. And then I wanted to take the stream and, and have it appear as it comes from an unknown area and that's kind of what we did so it's a waterfall box is actually facing the house and then it kind of just curves they wanted more of a tranquil sound as opposed to rushing rapids we kind of accomplished that uh, the customers are great with gardening and planting they've done obviously a tremendous job here we have a skimmer on this side here where mm -hmm. our pump is sitting and then our bio falls is up top uh, beyond the elephant ears and then we also have a pond power head down here to aid in that filtration and for a little bit of interaction with the fish so rebuilding an existing pond used some of the rock brought some new rock in what was the investment for the customer the investment for this uh, install was around $7,200. Okay, so $7,000, do you know what they spent on the first one? On the first one, it was comparable. So $7,000 to have it done wrong, and then $7,000 to have it done right. Correct. It's always less expensive to do something right the first time, which is why you want to hire a certified aquascape contractor, not a guy that used to work at aquascape that didn't work out that builds ponds on the side. But if you want to do it, it's always less expensive to do it right the first time than the second and hire a certified aquascape contractor. So a lot of water lettuce in here. It's the end of the season. They should probably start handing that out. You know, frogs jumping in, everything else. I love the garden, the trellis. And what I really love about this is you can see that this entire spot here was created for them to be able to sit out and enjoy this uh, water feature. So for me, it gets frustrating that people do ponds done wrong, customers serve wrong. The goal of my vlogs is to have them do it right and customers serve right. Remember how I asked if you could beat your sister in a foot race, but you lost? All right, I'm gonna challenge your sister right now. Not to a race, because she would kick my butt. I'm too old, too fat. But I am gonna challenge you to a cartwheel contest. You up for it? <laughs> All right. Dad, you wanna jump on on this action? No. <laughs> okay. She used to do gym, I played football, okay? But I'll still see if I can do a cartwheel. Okay, hold on. Hey, I'm impressed. My mom's impressed. Okay, go ahead, former gymnastics soccer star. I win! That's yes, I, I win, right, buddy? Get this <laughs> Revenge for the man. <laughs> Alright, so what you want to do is you want to line your feet up and get straight legs when you do the land. Wow! See? Alright, let's go vlog. The original bomb was right here. Oh, okay. So what year is this baby? It's a 1957. Wow. John Deere 420C. So how old were you in 1957? Uh, five. Five years old when this thing came out. Yeah, so I just pulled it out of the barn. I hadn't had a chance to clean it up or get it running again. I didn't get it out early. At least I get it out early in the spring. To like lay manure you said and stuff like that. How long have you had it? Eight years maybe. Okay, very cool. This year has been a good year for the hives, huh? Yes. That's good to hear, because I know that they've been suffering for years now, the bees, right? right. So you actually harvest your own honey. Yep. How many hives do you have? Uh, there's six here right now. One of them, well, there's only five. One of them died off. Look at how cool that is. If you open the top, will you get stung? Oh, yeah. <laughs> this year they've been very, very angry for some reason. Well, wonderful. Maybe I'll just kind of vlog from a few feet away. Yes, yeah, they'll fly around. <laughs> oh. They won't hurt you. Anything. All right, that's they, enough. They were flying all around. <laughs> <laughs> so they love to go from the oh. to the flowers to the hive to the water, huh? You can just see them go back and forth. It's and amazing how miles. they bump into you and then they keep flying. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you actually spin your own honey, huh? Yep. So here's the intake bay we were talking about. That is where the pump sits underneath this pump vault. And then any debris, which 
we would just literally scoop right out of here, right, with your hands and just throw it. Yeah. They're drinking water along the edge of the rock. Yep. It is an ecosystem. Build it and they will come. I like the bench. That bench is beams from our neighbor's own horse barn. That's cool. I love the history. And I love how the impatiens are planted right in the water, right? Yep. So they grow great. Isn't it fun as a gardener to have this as a backdrop and a palette? It is. And then my daughter works with gardening and horticulture and that, her degree is in horticulture, so she helped me design some of this stuff. Is she local? She lives about an hour away. Okay, so the grandkids love to come to Grandma and Grandpa's oh, house, yes. huh? I love the fact that this is in a farm. And so many people ask, what kind of people buy water features? Our number one demographic is doctors, go figure. Our number two demographic is teachers. I don't know too many Freakonomic statistics where doctors and school teachers would be involved, but I think it's because doctors obviously have the cash, school teachers obviously have the time and they're looking to de-stress, but hey, retired farmer, why not? We can build water features anywhere and for anybody. This is a beautiful project that Brent did out here, and I love the fact of how much they enjoy the nature that's right with this. I love that it's a hobby for them, and that's what this business is all about. It's about creating dreams for people. They worked hard for all these years, they live on this beautiful property, and now they have a beautiful aquascape ecosystem pond to enjoy. If you want to enjoy a beautiful aquascape ecosystem pond, check out the link below to find a certified aquascape contractor just like Brent in your area. I love my job. So you want some honey too, Mom, huh? You're welcome to have one, yes. <laughs> there you go, honey. Oh, I think This is wow. what it looks like after we've yeah, taken the tops completely. off and spun it. Wow. And it goes in like this into the extractor. There's so 20 of them in there. Okay. Yeah. We let Extract. it go about 20 minutes. Extracts to the bottom? Yep, and it comes out to we have a pail underneath there and, and does it come out like this? It or, comes out there with actually bee parts and, and wax in it uh -huh. and that's why we put it through a sieve. Yeah. Oh. You can see how fine it is. Oh yeah. And the yeah. bottom one's finer yet. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah, it's pretty wow. fine. So it comes out. Yeah, how long does it take for that to seep through and it's not very long. No, no, not very long at all. So if you'd like to order some honey. I heard that you are high school sweethearts. Yes. But I heard that I'm in your bed every night. What? what did you say? I didn't say anything. No! Now, now you make me... You said you hear my voice every night. Yes, I do. Yes. <laughs> from from vlogs. Yeah. <laughs> so that was the joke. All right. I, I guess it didn't go over well. <laughs>